Hello students. Welcome to the second day of online tutorial session. Today we will really discuss about this generations of computers. Okay. So how actually the modern computers come? This history I have learned from the ancient history that where actually the computer concept comes. But today what we are using this modern computer, how this evolved, this uh, generation after the going generation modification, today we will learn about this. Okay, I am skipping this, uh, this elaborate part from the chart, this one. Okay, just follow this chart because here in this chart, uh, detailed uh, description is there. Okay, so now come to the first generation. The year is 1942 to 1955. Okay, so in this first generation of computer, the technology which is used, that is the vacuum tube. Okay. Uh, in the year 1906, American physicist Lee De Frost actually uh, built this computer. Uh, the example of the first generation of computer, you can say that ENAC. Okay. Uh, it is very large in size. Uh, okay. And power consumption, if you, uh, the question will come that what are the characteristics or features of a generation of computer, right, two or four. Okay. So, you will mention the power consumption was very high, very large in size. A size uh, generate uh, much heat slow in case of processing speed the processing speed and uh, they are programmed in only the machine language machine language just zero and one okay it will take any kind of instruction only in zeros and ones okay so the example you can say enac and univac one okay univac is a universal automatic computer okay now come to the uh, second generation that is uh, start from 1956 to 1964. The technology used it is the transistor. It is invented in the year 1947 by William Shockley and the, his team in Bell's laboratory. Okay. It is, uh, what are the features? Uh, you can say it is a slightly smaller, cheaper and faster than the first generation computer. Magnetic core based memories are uh, used instead of this vacuum tube. Commercially also available, okay. High programming language like COBOL, Photon, this kind of a pro programming language is introduced. Okay, floating point calculation is widely used over here. Floating point means uh, this point, 24.4, then this kind of a calculation. Okay, processing speed is much more faster than on uh, first generation of computer. Example, you can say IBM 1401 and IBM 1602. Now come to the third generation of computer. Okay, year is 1965 to 1970. Okay, the technology is, is used as is the integrated circuit, circuit developed by J.K. Kirby uh, of the Texas Instrument in the 1959. Okay, so uh, they were uh, used instead of transistor to build the, uh, this computer, okay. So, the an IC is combined of several electronic components into the small buffers of silicon, only the several uh, millimeters of thick, okay. So, this computer compared to the other generation is very, very smaller, cheaper and faster, more reliable, okay. Here in the previous tree, uh, uh, magnetic core based memory is used, but here semiconductor uh, memories are used, okay. And uh, uh, disk drive is introduced over here. We can use the uses of operating system is allowed in this uh, system, okay. Uh, processing speed is uh, become in nanosecond, the processing order of nanoseconds. So the example is Univac 181108 or Honeywell 200 series, or you can say IBM system uh, 360 series. Now the fourth uh, generation in the year 1971 to 1985, okay. Microprocessor technology uh, used in this computer made up with the smallest in size and the faster performance with the help of VLSI and ULSI technology. So now, before going to the details of the fourth generation computer characteristics, now we need to learn about what is VLSI, what is ULSI. Okay, first come to the technology, I will discuss SSSI. SSSI, actually, 
this is actually a, a terminology see this ulsi vlsi or mssi or sssi is used to indicate the total number of active component or the transistors that are being packed into a single ic chip okay ssi stands for small scale integration combine the less than 12 integrated component like transistor or diode or um, okay next misi it is a medium scale integration this short form money this short form will come okay write down the full form of alsi this kind of one. okay next is asi which is a large scale integration more than 100 integrated components per chip now come to the very large scale integration that is vlsi very large scale integration it contain okay uh, one lakh components per chip that is uh, this is a modern technology that we are using the next is uh, ultra large scale integration it is containing more than 1 million component in a single chip the so modern days a microprocessor like pentium core i this kind of a technology use this us uh, li okay this kind of a technology okay so this kind uh, this uh, mini computers are programmed and came up with the capable of user friendly software packages like word and office even non technical person can use that or uh, uh, the smaller computers become more powerful they could be linked together they can form a network okay the concept of networking also comes over here the example intel 404 or uh, uh, like one example is enough now comes to the fifth generation okay in case of fifth generation we are not actually depending on this microprocessor cheap kind of a technology cheap okay so we are actually moving to our, towards the technology called keeps okay keeps means what knowledge information processing system actually you can say the fifth generation it is actually uh, here we are using the technology of artificial intelligence okay so what are the features of this this computer are based on the concept of parallel processing and neural networking actually neural networking is a very vast topic and also parallel processing also actually they will uh, in case of artificial intelligence what we are doing they will uh, take the experts uh, 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 knowledge actually so they will take the expert knowledge they will build a, a systems or software or a robot they can actually take the decisions like a human being but though there is a they are or, uh, this kind of a device this is a device but they have that possess as kind of an intelligence or the decision capacity like human being okay this is the knowledge being enforcement processing system this use a prolog that is programming logic language for programming okay so computer processes artificial intelligence to make the decision okay now the generation